How to Create Artificial Gravity in Spaceship Gravity is the force that pulls objects toward each other. On Earth, it's what keeps us grounded and gives weight to everything. This force arises from the mass of objects, with larger masses exerting a stronger gravitational pull. In space, where there's little to no gravity, astronauts experience weightlessness. While this can be exhilarating, prolonged weightlessness can have adverse effects on the human body, such as muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Artificial gravity aims to mimic Earth's gravity to counteract these effects, making long-duration space travel and habitation more feasible. There are a few methods which can help create artificial gravity in space. One of the most common methods for creating artificial gravity is by using centrifugal force. Imagine spinning something around on a string, the force you feel pulling outward is centrifugal force. Similarly, by rotating a spacecraft or space station, centrifugal force can mimic gravity. Another approach is to use constant acceleration to simulate gravity. This method involves continuously accelerating the spacecraft in one direction, creating a sensation of gravity due to inertia. Utilizing the gravitational force of massive celestial bodies like planets or moons is a passive way to achieve artificial gravity. By orbiting these bodies, spacecraft can experience a gravitational pull similar to that on Earth. Let's delve deeper into the centrifugal force method, as it's one of the most feasible and commonly proposed methods for creating artificial gravity. The basic principle behind the centrifugal force method is to rotate a spacecraft or space station to generate a centrifugal force that acts as gravity. The faster the rotation, the stronger the artificial gravity. The formula to calculate centrifugal force is this one. In this formula, g is the acceleration due to gravity. On Earth, the value of g is 9.8 meter per second per second, omega is the angular velocity, which means how fast the object is rotating, and r is the distance from the center of rotation. Let's say we want to create artificial gravity similar to Earth's gravity, which is 9.8 meters per square second, on a space station with a radius of 50 meters. We can calculate the required angular velocity using the formula. So, the space station needs to rotate at approximately 0.443 radians per second to simulate Earth's gravity at a radius of 50 meters. One radian per second is roughly 57.296 degrees per second or 9.549 revolutions per minute. While the centrifugal force method seems straightforward, there are several challenges and considerations we need to consider. Coriolis effect. Rapid rotation can induce the Coriolis effect, causing apparent forces that can affect motion and perception. Designing the rotating space station to minimize these effects is crucial for occupant comfort and safety. Structural integrity. Designing a spacecraft or space station capable of sustained rotation without compromising structural integrity is a significant engineering challenge. The structure must withstand the stresses of rotation while providing a stable and safe environment for occupants. Energy requirements. Rotating a large structure requires energy. The power needed to maintain rotation can be substantial, especially for long duration missions. Finding efficient ways to generate and manage power is essential for the viability of artificial gravity systems. Docking and maneuvering. Docking and maneuvering spacecraft in a rotating environment present additional challenges. Designing docking mechanisms and navigation systems that can operate effectively in a rotating environment is essential for mission success. In conclusion, creating artificial gravity in space is a complex yet achievable goal, and the centrifugal force method is one of the most promising approaches. As technology advances and our understanding of space exploration grows, we may develop even more innovative methods for simulating gravity in space. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.